All right, so it's early in the morning. down the road. Yes, bye, take care. Off the bus. That was the bus we were on. I don't know where we're going or why we got dropped off so far away, but this is the way to the airport <laughs> for our terminal. We're going to Terminal B. So, yeah, funny stuff. Oh, this looks kind of familiar. Okay. This looks like where I wanted to be to get a ride and said we couldn't. We had to walk really far. I don't know. If you want to know how much I don't like this airport, just watch my videos where I land in Boston. It's, it's a horrible system for people trying to get rides with Uber. It's definitely set up for people to take taxis because I'm guessing the taxi unions paid them off to put the Uber ride stuff far away. It's just really embarrassing, like how bad it is compared to any other airport in the country. Another great example, we go into this terminal because we're told this is how you go, but apparently you have to go back outside. Uh, but there's no signs anywhere saying United this way until right here, until you go outside. Does it say, you see back there on the far right? Yeah, it's fat. All right, right now we made it to the right terminal or whatever. We were in the right terminal, just the wrong side. But they're not connected. It's a. It's makes no sense. It's stupid. All right, check my bags. Now it's time to go through security. And this is how long the line's gonna look. Very short. To be more specific, here's my uh, TSA pre. It's literally where those people are walking. They'll go up there. Really short. Made it through security. We'll look at that later. Taking you on a little treat here today. United Club. Fancy Smancy. Yeah, it's nice. I love to sit over here. Nice and quiet. I love to sit right up here. See all the airplanes take off? Yeah. You can listen to all the air traffic. Yeah. That way you can hear exactly what the pilots are saying. Yeah. This is B-25, this is, I think, my plane. So I had some eggs sitting here watching planes take off. It's pretty cool. They come in, they take off. And uh, B-25 is where I'll be taking off in about an hour or so. Maybe a little more. Here's a little uh, look at their food here. Got some eggs, yogurt, some fruit. There's the eggs I had. You know, some bread, toaster, all the drinks. Here, and we'll show you my flight. This is a great thing about being in a lounge. Just, so this is my flight. All right, let's go. There was an elevator to, uh, it's just one floor. It takes you straight up to the lounge. So you'll see when we come out. I am uh, just right here. B-25 is right there. Just better look at our airplane. Customer Mark Vandelstein to the podium. Mark Vandelstein, please approach the podium. Flynn Landon. Gentlemen, we're gonna begin boarding here in just a couple of moments for this flight going to Denver. We are completely full. We do need to check in carry on bags, about 20 to 25 bags. We are looking for customers that do have the flexibility. Please see us up. Hello. Oh, right on there, yes. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Here we go to Denver. Hey, Mason. We can.
that was a little fun. I had a kid behind me hitting my seat all the time. And this dude directly in front of me, right by me, always shaking his legs. Oh, man. Shaking his legs and then he was putting his body over my, touching my body. Miserable. Super annoying. Those are the kids that were hitting me. It's like they never do anything. You just look at them and they don't, don't care. Oh my goodness. Was, I was thinking that's the most miserable flight I've been on since flying in Europe because I feel like that happens a lot of that. Uh, looks like they're having some problem with that one. Okay, so my baggage claim is supposed to be 16. And of course, there's construction going on. According to the sign, 16 was this way. Of course, the first person I see is the dude that was bothering the crap out of me. Um, but yeah, this is... <laughs> Super close. It's another one of the conspiracy waiting signs for construction. Yeah, just came from there. And bam, luggage. All right, got a black A4, Audi S, whatever, A4, Audi. Uh, just here. It's kind of a nice day here, beautiful. Unlike Boston, you can actually see the mountains. I saw some other stuff going on in the mountains. It's actually snowing. Can't tell it's cloudy. Anyways, let's go get our uh, Uber. It's supposed to be here in two minutes. All right, back at my place here, and just want to say thanks for watching this video. I forgot to do this earlier. I guess I should have done it at the airport. But uh, thanks for watching. And if you enjoyed this uh, video, I know there wasn't much because you can't fly a Boeing 737 Max 9 and get 11A if you want a window seat. I'll just tell you that, or at least on United, because. Uh, you know, there's other planes I've had where it's the same thing. You think you're getting a window seat and it's barely a window seat. So learned my lesson on the Max 9. Don't choose 11A. That flight was fully full today. Um, and honestly, I've been so busy. I really didn't look for any better seats in the last week or two on that flight. So guess I have myself to blame a little too. Maybe I could have gotten a better one. I don't even know. But um, thanks again for watching this video. And if you like it, be sure to hit like, and uh, th that really helps like other people find out about the video when you do that sort of thing. 
And if you could subscribe, that would be great. I notice, like, when I look at the YouTube algorithm stuff, or analytics, I should say, like, I think it's 85% of the views I get are from people that aren't subscribed to my channel. So, kind of weird, but hey, if you, if you are liking the video, just hit subscribe. That way you never miss a video. Anyways, uh, thanks so much for watching, and uh, take flight.